Hey guys, so today I'm going to be showing you how to do some dotting with these tools. I've got two nail art tools and three of the cupcake making tools with the balls on the end. These are the ones that I used most of. I've had a few requests lately, so I thought I'd just do a quick video to show you. This is one of the nail art tools. This is how they come. And what I do is just get some pliers and just bend the tip. As you can see, that's one of the bigger ones. And that's one of the smaller ones I've got. So I just bend the tips, it's pretty simple. This one I actually bent a bit too far and it's a bit crooked, so I don't really use that one. So just be careful, practice on a couple. So these tools are the ones that I'll be showing you mostly today. Um, I'll show you the piece that I've done recently and had lots of requests on how I actually do it with these tools. I think they're cupcake um, making tools where people um, shape fondant and stuff with them. I'm not 100% sure, I just bought these ones off Amazon. So this is the piece that I've done recently with these tools. As you can see, there are lots of dots and I do walking the dots a lot with these tools. I find these ones, uh, these tools to be the easiest to use for walking the dots instead of the single uh, dotting rods and you have to do each dot at a time which just takes way too long for a piece like this. So I'm just using a scrap piece of paper. I did this before on a previous video that I was going to upload for this but I decided not to go with it. I'm just going to start again and show you guys uh, in a little bit more of a simple way of dotting. Hopefully it works out better this time. So I'm just going to start off with a dot in the center. So I'm just using leftover paint so it is actually a little bit um, thicker than I'd usually use but um, it'll be okay to show you for this video. Consistency is key with these. Um, you need to make sure that it's a really um, watery kind of consistency, as you'll be able to see when I do the dots. So as you can see, I don't have too much paint on my tool. I've only covered maybe a third of the tool, if that. As you can see, it makes a really nice dot there. So to do my first row, I'm going to use the smallest of the tools, as you can see, and I'm going to use white. I've got a fair bit of paint on there, but that's okay. As you can see, it doesn't splash out the sides or anything like that. I just, I don't push too hard. I suppose it takes a little bit of practice to get the right pressure but once you do it a few times, it's pretty simple. So that size went all the way around quite well. I could walk the dots. This row may not, however. So I'm just using a slightly bigger tool and a lighter shade of pink. So as you can see, I've got about half the ball covered with paint there. And this row won't make it all the way around, as you can see. So I try to do the same amount of dots on both sides and I'll need to get a smaller tool and finish up those last few so they join in the middle. So this is the second smallest of my nail art tools and I'll be using it to join the dots. So I just go over the last few dots that I did with that last tool because they're not perfectly round so I just kind of fill in the gap a little bit in the middle and then yeah join the dots so now I'm going to go up a size and I'll be using dark pink So as you can see, I've got about half the dotting tool covered with paint and I'm dotting down the first row. It won't go all the way around. As you can see, I always dot that first dot 
a second time when I'm going down the other side that makes sure that the second dot I do in the row is smaller than that first dot you want that first dot to be bigger so that's important to keep in mind as well so now I'm getting the second smallest tool that I have and I'm just going to fix up the last couple of dots that I do there make them a little bit bigger even go over them a couple times and then make those last few really small So now I'm going to use the biggest of the dotting tools and I'm going to use white so it's easy for you to see. When I put the paint on I find it helpful to twist the tool sometimes as well. Can't quite see that in the video but it might help just keep that in mind. So I've got about a third um, of the tool covered in paint and as you can see I can do a lot bigger dots with this but it still doesn't go all the way around those last couple of dots are really out of shape but I can go back and fix them up with a smaller tool easy as so yes yeah, small dots aren't good to do with the bigger tools as you can see with those last few now I'm getting a smaller tool and I'm just fixing up those last couple of dots and I'll walk the dots out a bit more. Fix up the shape so they're perfectly round. Very time consuming this is. <laughs> and then keep walking the dots around. join the dots up. As you can see this is very time consuming <laughs> but I actually love it. I find it really relaxing. Sorry about the girls in the background. You can hear them playing two three-year-olds. <laughs> so here you have it. I hope this video has helped you guys. Uh, feel free to comment below if you have any questions. Thanks guys. Bye.